morning and welcome back to another beautiful day in La La Land. So guys, check this out. Um, I know you guys are looking at my side view mirror and you're never going to guess what happened, okay? So I'm literally driving down the street and all of a sudden like I see kind of like uh, on my, my vision, I see like a weird little like smoke ring coming from my right hand side. So I'm thinking to myself, what the hell is this, right? So I'm driving on the freeway and all of a sudden that smoke ring starts getting more and more smokier and smoke starts shooting out. So I'm like, dude, this might be a problem. Then I hear a loud shatter. It was like a, it was like a pop. You know, I thought people were shooting at me because y'all know I'd be out here in these streets like that. Anyways, my side view mirror totally exploded. Literally exploded, like on fire, exploded. And today I'm at the dealership because they're fixing it. And we all know that can take maybe like 35, 45 hours. Anyways, they're fixing my, uh, <laughs> my side view mirror and that's kind of what's been going on. I apologize that we haven't been able to, you know, we haven't been on, on our content this week. I do apologize about that. I promise to you guys, it's gonna get better. Take my word for it, it's going to get better. As you can see from the start of this vlog, I have crazy stuff going on, so bear with me. However, I do love you guys and I cannot wait to spend my day with you. I am at the dealership right now, and first of all, never go to the dealership on a weekend. It's, it's, it's the worst idea physically possible. I'm obviously here for a service, and the guy at the dealership continues and continues and continues and continues to try to sell me a car. Bro, listen, I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to buy a car right now. Ah. Uh, Damn, here he comes right now. Like, listen, <laughs> if you guys ever came to the dealership on a weekend, these guys are like gnats at barbecues. I respect their grind, I respect their hustle, but bro, honestly, you see me drive up, you see my car in the service setup, why are you trying to sell me a car? How about you fix this car, and then maybe when that car gets fixed, we could do something again. Anyways, I'm out here, as you can see, amongst all these cars, a sea of cars behind me, um, and I'm looking at the cars, but look at the prices of some of these damn cars, man, okay? I don't know if you guys can see this. 2006, $50,000. Okay, $50,000. Guys, let me remind you that I'm not at the Hyundai, uh, I'm at the Hyundai dealership. I'm not at the Audi, I'm not at the BMW, I'm not at the, the Porsche dealership, I am at the Hyundai dealership. Hold on, here he comes, here he comes. It's kind of interesting, do you know what I mean? So, with that being said, Anyways, <laughs> with that being said, like why am I seeing cars at the Hyundai dealership for like 60, six, 50 and 60 thousand dollars? Like that's crazy, it's crazy. When I was growing up, Hyundai's were like, were like 750 bucks. <laughs> Fresh off the lot, brand new. The hell you mean $60,000? Miss me with it. <laughs> hey guys. Two hours. Clock still ticking. Damn. Four hours. And here's the good stuff. Bruh. Bruh. I mean, damn, like, as you can see, there goes the day. As you can see by the sun going down. Uh, been in here way longer than I should have been. Anyways, I'm happy that my, hold on, let's see it, let's see it, let's see it, hold on. Happy that it's fixed, allegedly fixed, we'll see. Okay, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good. That looks good, right, right guys, right? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, let's look on the back. What y'all think? <laughs> I'm in my car and I'm gonna see if this bad boy really works, see if it turns. Oh, oh, it's turning, it's turning. Okay, let's see if it goes the other way. Oh, oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think we good. Because if we're not good, son, I'll be back. That's for damn sure. Okay guys, so I'm literally just leaving the dealership. I feel like I've been here honestly forever. You've 
literally witnessed me spend my entire day here at the dealership as they fixed my car. And guys, it was such a freak accident how that happened. Like literally my side view mirror just exploded. Like I'm driving my car and I hear like a pow, like no lie, I thought somebody was shooting at me. Um, anyways, like they fixed it. It's totally fixed now. Avi free of charge. I'm not paying for that crap. This car's still under warranty. And I am headed to the farmer's market because Veronica and I have been on this diet all month. So for those of you guys who follow us and watch our videos and you love to watch us eat and go to restaurants and experience uh, cuisines and explore the food scene here, unfortunately, we had to sacrifice you for an entire month. However, that month ends tomorrow. So literally in like one more day, I'm going to be able to eat. And we have so much awesome stuff planned for you guys. So much awesome stuff planned for you guys. I mean, you have no idea what we have cooking up. Uh, stay tuned and we'll definitely keep you guys informed and keep you guys uh, looped in on what we do. Also, huge football fan. Um, apparently, and this is just an apparently, uh, Los Angeles is getting two NFL teams. Yep, you heard me. Not one, but two NFL teams. Uh, we are getting the St. Louis Rams, which are now the Los Angeles Rams. And apparently we're getting the Los Angeles Chargers. So, we didn't get my team out of the deal. I'm a 49ers fan. But like, bruh, two teams, where they do that at, right? Anyways, I'm about to head to the farmer's market because Veronica's been juicing this entire month, literally for 30 days straight. So, I'm gonna get her like some fruit uh, and some vegetables, kinda like, you know, get her back. Cause you can't just go from juicing for 30 days to eating like, you know, a fat double double cheeseburger. Like that's not how that works. You have to kind of like morph your body back into eating, uh, you know, food with a lot of salt content. So anyways, going to the farmer's market, about to hop on this freeway, a little bit salty that I missed the entire damn day. However, I have to get you guys some footage. So we're going to go and we're going to turn all the way up at the farmer's market. And uh, you guys are gonna see what Veronica's gonna be eating for the next couple of days. And I am excited because, like I said, we have both, you know, I'm not going to do the huge reveal, but we both lost a lot of weight. So if you can't tell, you'll be able to tell because we'll have numbers for you pretty soon, all right? Stay tuned. Don't make to you a murderer. Boy, you just be killing. Yeah, you know that money talk. I am the ventriloquist. Do you feel me? Infection from the other side would love to kill me. Spill three quarts of my blood into the street, let alone the heat. I just want to be successful. Yo guys, so we finally got to the farmer's market and we are totally about to get Veronica some fruits and vegetables because when you come off this juicing diet, you, that's like what you have to get. Um, and for me, since I'm eating paleo and my diet's officially over, back to my cookie snacks, cupcakes, and all that good stuff that I love so much. Anyways, um, this is one of my favorite places to get food. Actually, let me rephrase that. This is the only place that I get food. Um, if I get any meats or whatever, there's like a, a butcher here. Um, there's like all type of like stuff for like, you know, farmers. So I can get my fruits, vegetables, spices, herbs, everything here. And I'm totally excited. Check it out. This is the farmer, farmer's market on a weekend night. Look at this. Hashtag poppin' son.
Apparently, it's Mardi Gras. <sighs> Sorry guys, I've totally failed you today. I've spent too much time at the freaking like dealership and I had no idea the people are partying. And so when I come to get groceries, they're like turning all the way up, these old people that have probably never even been to Louisiana or New Orleans, but are just so excited to have a reason to actually party. Um, but anyways, as you can see behind me, I am at my fruits, vegetable, little produce area and I'm totally about to get some stuff for Veronica so stay tuned. I'm gonna get my girl some water Malone. So pineapple going all the way up. Things we do for love. <laughs> Every day I go so hard and work my so I'm good, I'm 100 like a fastball. So guys, finally getting back to the crib. Thanks so much for chilling with me today. If you guys like what you've seen, go ahead and give me that huge thumbs up. Make sure to comment, like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. For all the new citizens out there, I welcome you to La La Land. And remember guys, live life beautifully with no regrets. Until tomorrow, peace.